find a polynomial of least degree with a leading coefficient 1 having zeros at negative 3, at 1 minus the square root of 2, and at 1 plus the square root of 2. So if, you, if you're given the zeros of a polynomial, let's say x equals a, x equals b, and x equals c, then the polynomial can be factored as x minus a times x minus b times x minus c. That's the, and you multiply that out to get the polynomial. So in our problem, we're given three roots. So we know our polynomial, p of x, can be factored as x minus negative 3, x minus, let me put parentheses around here, uh, 1 minus root 2, and x minus 1 plus root 2. Simplifying that, we have the following, x plus 3, x minus 1 plus root 2, distributing the minus, and x minus 1 minus root 2. It's our job to multiply this out. Now, let's take the two parts, x minus 1 plus root 2 and x minus 1 minus root 2. In order to multiply that out, we're going to do the following. We're going to distribute we're going to take x times all three of these guys and have x squared minus x minus root 2x. Then we're going to multiply minus 1 by all these guys and have minus x plus root 2x plus root 2. And notice how I wrote it. Um, I, wrote, I wrote it in this manner so we can add vertically to combine the terms. That was a negative 1 times an x, a negative 1 times a negative 1. Uh-oh. Uh, I screwed up. I'm sorry. Let's try that again. That was a negative 1 times an x. A negative 1 times a negative 1 and a negative 1 times a negative root 2. I just left this space here um, because I want to add things that look like there's nothing that has a constant by itself, there's nothing that has a root by itself, and so um, we'll just write it like that. And then we'll multiply the negative 2 times all three of these guys. What we get there, a negative, I'm sorry, the, the root 2 times these guys, we get our root 2x we get our negative root 2 and then a positive root 2 times a negative root 2 ends a negative 2. Root 2 squared is a 2. Okay great, now when you add these together you end up with the following x squared minus 2x. Watch what happens with the root terms, they cancel we have negative root 2x plus root 2x positive root 2 minus root 2 they cancel and then we have this uh, last part here which is a minus 1 so it turns out that all of that multiplies out to be x squared minus 2x minus 1 looks much simpler than it started but don't forget that we have this other term here, x plus 3, that we have to multiply. And uh, we're going to do it again. Take x times these three guys and get x cubed minus 2x squared minus x. Then take 3 times all of these guys and get 3x squared minus 6x minus 3 and then we add these together 
notice how I wrote it again I staggered it so I can add the terms that are alike simply by just having them one on top of the other so I end up with the final result of x cubed plus x squared minus 7x minus 3 and that's going to be our polynomial that will have roots at negative 3 and 1 plus or minus root 2 now um, we could have done something to make it a little easier to do the distributing when we multiplied out our answer let me just show you something that if you like it then use it if not then don't um, in order to take a either two trinomials or a binomial times a trinomial in order to multiply that out a nice way to do that is to write it in in like a chart form take the x and the three as row headers take the x squared and the minus 2x and the minus 1 as column headers and whenever two things cross you would multiply them a row and a column cross you multiply them so we get x times x squared to give you x cubed x times neg negative 2x to give you negative 2x squared x times negative 1 to give you negative x 3 times x squared 3 times negative 2x and 3 times negative 1 and then you combine the terms that are alike they happen to occur here on diagonals it's nice and so this 3x squared with this minus 2x squared combined and then we have also the um, the negative 6x and the negative x combined as well so you can multiply out that way using like a chart with rows and columns we could have even done the 1 plus root x and the 1 minus root x that way um, the x minus that uh, multiplied all the way out so it's something that helps uh, you don't need it but here is your final answer to the question they wanted the polynomial of uh, least degree with a coefficient on the leading term as one that had those three guys as roots okay and the key is to multiply out x minus the root and to be careful not make a mistake with the signs and you'd have that answer